This episode is brought to you by Indie Film Hustle Academy, where filmmakers and screenwriters go to learn from top Hollywood industry professionals. Learn more at ifhacademy.com. Now, I always wanted to ask you, man, um, your second film, Dead, Dead Presidents, you know, which I absolutely loved and, you know, was a really kind of ballsy second film. Like you were saying, you were getting Batmans and superhero movies and, and things like that. But you guys wanted to tell this story um, and the cast was great. It looked great. But man, the visual of the ghost mask was so powerful, man. Where did that come from? Because that was like all over the marketing. Like they, it, it was just like, I, I can't believe no one had ever done that in a bank robbery before, you know, like, or in a, in a heist situation before. And you see it in Halloween. Every Halloween, it still comes out. Right. Like, so, so um, what, so was, what, so what? It was simple. It was simple. It was like, it was based on this book called Bloods. Uh, and it was like short stories from, from Vietnam, from different vets. And, 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 and the kind of like large story points in that presidents were, based off of this. And at a certain point in that story, he was talking about the face paint. Mm -hmm. And I had, I had, I forgot how he described it, whether it was white or black or whatever, but I've been doing all this research in the Vietnam era. And I also noticed that there were uh, protesters that were using this skeleton face, you know, they do this skeleton thing. So I combined that with what the guy was saying in the book and you know, protest paint and in this kind of disguise. And, and we came up with that. And then the marketing, it was Disney at the time, um, through Hollywood Pictures, mm -hmm. they glommed onto it. And the first stuff they were showing us was like, oh, yeah, that's it, right? Um, they, they knew what to do with it right off the bat. But that movie in particular is not my proudest moment. It's like the thing I'm most embarrassed about uh, because they rushed us into it because we got this great new deal. Mm -hmm. And this goes to something you were, you were saying earlier about, you know, kind of, you know, for lack of a better description, like imposing your wants on a, on a movie, right? Or even sometimes in, imposing your insecurities is that we knew that it was a Disney movie, right? It was being financed by Disney. Right. So we were doing stuff like, oh, I forgot to ask you if it's okay to curse on your show. We, we, we've been cursing quite some time, so it's okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, we, we were so, we were 22 years old or 21 making that movie. Um, and we were so insecure about Disney funding us that we, you know, we did the thing with the guts hanging out and the dick in the mouth and, you know, the pistol whipping of the guy and, the, you know, you know, those guards, in hindsight, those guards that were guarding that Federal Reserve did, did not deserve the beat down that they got. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and, and if I had it all to do over again, there's a lot of, first of all, I would have gotten the script right. I don't think the script was ready. Right. Um, we, we were ready to make the movie just barely. I'm talking about capable of technically and directing to make that movie just barely we got mm -hmm. we got by um but it goes to show it's like one of my hardest lessons is that movie like don't run into anything just because you're hot and they want you to put this movie out and they're just like go 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 and nobody's questioning the script you know um you know when people come up to me and talk to me about the film and it's 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 strangely in, in europe uh, that movie is above menace like more mm -hmm. more people and my friends or whoever extended friends, they talk about that movie. You know, I don't know why, um, <laughs> but I'm almost em embarrassed to engage over that movie. You know, interesting. Uh, as they say, the sophomore, the sophomore jinx, right? Um, the sophomore jinx was going to hit us no matter what. OK, uh, because we came out so high flying. And if you look at Dead Presence now and some unknown filmmaker did it, they would be heap praise would be heaped on them. Mm -hmm. um, but the standard for us was so high that there was no way we were going to meet it. And, and deservedly so. We shouldn't have met it. You know? um, um, but it shows you like the, the dynamic you have as a new filmmaker. is like if you're unknown and you do something halfway decent, you, you're, you're going to get – and if it's done with skill, you're going to get recognition. You know? mm -hmm. um, and that, that's my only thing about like you know, the face paint thing is probably the only highlight for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's the movie poster, really. I mean, that's it. That's basically it. It's the movie poster. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, or seeing like uh, Floyd Mayweather or Puff Daddy dressed up on Instagram every Halloween, like, oh, that's kind of fun, you know, <laughs> to, to see that. 